quickly boost your motivation. So I'm going to use two concepts. This will give you more motivation fuel. I'll talk this through. Future you and regret. If you are not ready to deepen your pain, just skip past this section, please. If you're not ready to hear this, some harsh truth. Okay, 10 year you. Imagine you stay as you are. Nothing fundamentally changes in your life. Same routines. In 10 years, you're still here. How would that feel for you? Let me roll on further. Past 10 years, 20, 30 years. You're now at end of life. You continue to stay as you are. And along your journey, the fears you have that stop you now, they only deepen and your responsibilities only grew. You found it even harder to act when you promised yourself you would. Every year went by with the same broken promises you've always given. You didn't even try. And as you lie on your deathbed, you see the void of the life you didn't live. How would you feel not having taken action after 10 years? What would you regret? I want you to sit in that and really, really think about that. If it's painful, why is it painful? Okay, next one, part three, the life documentary. So this was very effective for a few clients, actually. You're on your deathbed. You find out a film crew have been filming you all the way along. You're now lying there with everyone you care about watching this final production of this documentary they've made of your life. It starts with the backstory of how you got to where you are right now. And they watched as you sta stayed at the edge. And we'll go back to our friend on the bridge who's about to cross this rope bridge. Anticipation builds. Everyone sees in real time the mental struggle, the pain and discomfort you, you experience, what you're going through right now, the fear of falling. And actually, as they watch, they really resonated because we all can. It's very understandable how we can get to this point, the jump point, and we find it very difficult. Everyone under understood as they watched this. There was hope because they could see you edging closer and closer to the edge. They desperately wanted to see you try. They saw hope in their own lives through watching this play out, watching you at the edge of that bridge. They desperately wanted to see a change where you, the central character, makes the move attempting to cross the bridge into the unknown. They're ready to cheer as they watch the journey unfold, but they waited and waited. Years roll by. This may have been happening already for you. This documentary crew, they were persistent, and so they just hung on to the very last day, waiting for the moment, but that moment never came, so they ended up calling it a day, and you're now here on this bed, watching the film with everyone you care about around you, and you continue to watch, and a sadness descends. As you realise the story you so desperately wanted to tell never got started. Questions to ask yourself. How would you feel as this film is about to be played? Name the emotions. Why do you feel these emotions? Explain for each. Who would you be most affected by if they were in the theatre watching you? Key points. When you find yourself not moving, the pain of staying is insufficient. Ask yourself big questions and concepts to create the pain needed. You can use the three parts I just did to help cultivate this pain. Use the future self concepts to help your brain map out your likely future. It's quite interesting that, you know, I've worked with lots of clients and they are of all ages and it's it, it's very insightful to see what happens. This 10 year you, these were concepts uh, that I worked with years ago. And as I've worked with people of all ages who have gone past that 10 years, sometimes 20 and 30 years, they actually did live these scenarios and it has been incredibly painful. Depending on where you are on your journey, I want you to think about that because a lot of these really do come true if you're not careful and you don't do anything about it. Tell these stories repeatedly to enhance the effect. I did this to myself so much so that it was incredibly painful and eventually it it was enough. It flipped over with the pain of change and I just had to do it. And I've seen that time and time again with people. It doesn't work for, ab for, you know, for everyone, for sure, but it is definitely worth a try if you are not finding yourself moving. So what to do? One, be clear about what you want to achieve. Two, see what your initial motivators are. Three, try and attempt it. Notice where when you get stuck. Four, ask yourself what your true motiva motivations are. Five, articulate ideally right, positive and dark motivation factors. Six, stack these and remind yourself what these are. Seven, check for pain. Is the pain of staying the same worse or not? Eight, stack factors to make pain as high as possible. We have to make the pain of staying worse and attempt to take action. And you essentially keep looping that until it, it really is painful. Just a little side note. This is why you often hear people having to hit rock bottom and then making a very violent change. This can be to do with weight after a breakup in a relationship, a divorce, something very catastrophic happens in their life. The pain of staying is just so bad, they have to make a move. 
one last painful truth. Sometimes you're just not in enough pain, unfortunately, and I do see this. It needs to get worse before you act. This is why you hear people hitting rock bottom. It is the catalyst that was always needed. So where, are, where we are, we know we have enough knowledge to move. We recognize that our emotions play a vital role in ability to execute. We have methods now to dial up our motivation, the desire to cross the bridge or the necessity to cross the bridge. Language level up, use the following language, future you, your life documentary. Okay, you can use those and harsh truths as well. So this is where we are now and we'll be using this diagram to show our progress. Enough knowledge, appreciation of the fear and you're motivated to move. Up next, changing your beliefs. This is a big one. See you in the next session.